welcome back to online class with me fm yusuf assistant professor department of chemistry milestone college how are you i hope all you are fine and are very conscious about your scc exam dear students in my last lecture i discussed about the theoretical part of organic chemistry i'm in chapter 11 today i'm going to discuss about the creative part of chapter 11 look at the whiteboard carbon monoxide is heated at 250 degree centigrade temperature with hydrogen gas in the presence of nickel catalyst to produce m gas and water i mean vapor so students we know that carbon if carbon dioxide is heated with hydrogen methane gas is produced so it can be understood easily that m represents here methane and again this is actually thermal cracking i mean by this process c14 h30 compound is cracked is breaked so if i count the total number of carbon and hydrogen atoms at the product side i will see that there are 10 carbon atoms at the right side but at the left side 14 carbon atoms so um if i deduct the number of carbon atoms from 14 then i will get c4 but here it is given as coefficients that's why it will be c2 and number of hydrogen atoms 16 plus 6 i mean 22 but i need 30 hydrogen atoms so if i write here 4 it will be 2 into 4 is equal to 8 plus 6 is equal to 14 plus 16 is equal to 30 i mean the number of carbon and hydrogen atoms are balanced so there are students from the reaction if i count the total number of hydrogen atoms and carbon atoms i can easily identify the name of x compound actually x indicates ethene students first you have to understand the stem then you have to read out the questions it is noted that if you can't identify the compound m and the compound x you can't write the proper answer of those questions so the knowledge based question is what is called pyrolysis the process of dissociation of petroleum at high temperature in the absence of air to produce smaller compound are known as pyrolysis it is noted that the smaller hydrocarbons are actually better fuel and you know that petroleum is a mixture of different hydrocarbons that's why students i have used here smaller hydrocarbon if i give you an example methane and ethane methane the molecular weight of methane is 16 whereas the molecular weight of ethane is 30 and here methane is smaller than ethane that's why methane is better fuel than ethane however students look at the comprehensive tab question why is c2h6 called saturated hydrocarbon first you have to know what is saturated hydrocarbon 
saturated hydrocarbon means the hydrocarbon which contain carbon carbon single bond and the another bonds of carbon are filled up by hydrogen are known as saturated hydrocarbon here c2 h6 if i count the total number of carbon atoms here there are two carbon atoms 1 2 c2 and h 1 2 3 4 5 6 h 6 actually in this compound the there is carbon carbon single bond and the another bonds are filled up by hydrogen i mean the another bonds are fulfilled that's why this is a saturated hydrocarbon firstly you have to write the definition of saturated hydrocarbon then you have to describe the reason of saturation of c2h6 number c describe the preparation of compound x from the compound m of the stem dear students if you observe the stem you can understand very easily that m indicates methane and x indicates ethane so we can write directly but my suggestion to all of you first you have to write the complete reactions according to the stem carbon monoxide plus hydrogen gas 250 degree centigrade temperature nickel catalyst then methane gas is produced here and water it is given in the stem students now you can mention here m then the reaction now 2 c14 h30 uh, cracking cracking means all of you know that this is actually breaking cracking to ethene ethene uh, here you have to write x then c3 h6 plus c7 h16 students so i can write here firstly methane to ethyl describe the preparation of compound x i mean ethyl from compound m i mean methane so i can write here shortly methane or uh, arrow ethane i mean ethane is produced from methane and here uh, multiple steps of reactions uh, take part first one methane reacts with chlorine in the presence of uv ray to produce methyl chloride and hydrogen chloride two methyl chloride molecules are heated with sodium metal dissolved in dry ether to produce ethane students try to remember it this part is actually Oates reaction and the first one is actually substitution reaction of alkane you learned it in the substitution of alkane part in the substitution of alkane by halogen and number two reaction is from Oates reaction 
you know that Wood's reaction in the dissolved in dry ether alkyl halide here actually methyl chloride is taken is heated with sodium metal to produce ethane actually if I say you shortly uh, through the Wood's reaction I mean through this reaction the number of carbon is increased as I need two carbon atoms but in the reactant I mean in the methane the initial reactant is actually one carbon that's why in order to increase the number of carbon atoms I have to use the Wood's reaction then in the third step ethane reacts with chlorine in the presence of UV ray to produce ethyl chloride plus hydrogen chloride then ethyl chloride this is actually ethyl chloride you need not write the name of compound at the bottom bottom side of the formula then ethyl chloride reacts with aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide to produce ethanol and sodium chloride then this ethanol reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid to produce ethene and students all of you know that the molecular formula of ethene is C2H4 I mean X compound here actually sulfuric acid absorbs water from ethyl alcohol or ethanol all of you know that concentrated sulfuric acid is a dehydrating agent and the chemical substances which absorb water from another substance are known as dehydrating agent here actually sulf concentrated sulfuric acid is a dehydrating agent so dear students you can see from m compound x compound i mean ethene is produced here so come to the question number d vinegar can be produced from the compound x of the stem explain it dear students you know that vinegar is a very common and very popular food preservative especially in our country vinegar is used as preservative in the pickles you have to know what is vinegar 6 to 10 percent aqueous solution of ethanoic acid is called vinegar but in your textbook it is also given 4 to 10 percent aqueous solution of ethanoic acid is called vinegar however both amount are actually correct so students preparation of vinegar ethene reacts with water students I have written the partial structural formula of water make you understand easily in the presence of phosphoric acid catalyst uh, 300 degree centigrade temperature 
temperature and 60 atm pressure one bond is bracked to form another two new bonds this hydrogen atom combines with this carbon atom and the remain part OH of water combines with this carbon atom and finally I can write here actually CH3 and OH I mean ethanol is produced here then in the presence of acetobacter acetobacter ACT ethanol reacts with atmospheric oxygen to produce ethanoic acid then required amount of water is added with this ethanoic acid to prepare vinegar it is stated that acetobacter acity it's a beneficial bacteria i mean this bacteria is negative to germ and that's all about this creative question